is home to me. I, you know, I have a home to live in, but this is my home for a portion of the day. And so I'm, I'm surrounded by my friends that I have created. Growing up in the heart of downtown Louisville, uh, I would stand out in front of uh, Abraham Lincoln. There's a tall Abraham Lincoln statue. And I remember standing there and thinking, now this man's got big feet. And then I'd look up and think, now this man is tall. I wonder who he is, you know. Well, who would know years and years later now I'm creating the great emancipator in my own way. Oh, my wife. Hello. I'm still at the studio. I'll be home shortly. Oh, well, come on back so you can see Lincoln. Bye. Big enough for you. <laughs> Shape was separate. Bottom his boo boo was separate. Chest cavity was separate. His head was separate. So now I gotta put, you know, work my magic with the Doesn't clay it on it. looks for see. real. It looks real already. God, she's got such little feet. Look how small my feet are. Well, Lincoln started in 2004 because the bicentennial of his birth is coming up in 2009. So I was approached by a committee out of Frankfort, Kentucky. At the time, I thought it was very ambitious of them and really didn't think that I would be the one to do it. That's what I try to do, put my all into it, put my knowledge into it. And if I do the best that I can do, then you come away feeling good about it because you think, ah, man, that cat really worked out on that, you know. Look at that, look at the detail, you know, look at this. So then I've done my job.